Hello, this is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends Blogspot. Today's Monday, December 18th, 2006, and on Wall Strip today we're looking at gold. Now, I don't trade gold, so I don't pay for a quote to get a, uh, a chart of it. So instead, I'm looking at the uh, Street Tracks Gold Trust, uh, which is the ETF. Essentially, it's supposed to represent one tenth of an ounce of gold. So when when the ETF is trading at $61 a share, gold should be trading at $610 a share. We're looking at a weekly chart right now, and this is as far back as it goes. That's about when, it, when they came out with this ETF. Um, they came out with it, price of gold went down a little bit for about six or nine months, and then late in 2005, we had a great bull market begin in gold. And gold has been in a, a really nice uptrend until it ran into trouble uh, earlier this year, back in May or so. It had its first real sharp pullback from this big rally, and basically since then it's just been kind of chopping around and uh, losing a little bit of the volatility. So uh, the range it seems to be getting a little bit tighter, but realistically it needs to get above, it looks like about $650 an ounce before you can consider this uh, a good strong bull market once again. Um, so basically it looks like we've got support for gold down about 560 and resistance up near 650. So it looks like a $90 range for gold. If we take a look at a longer chart, now this one's um, going back to 1998, you can see how big that move was. And these are monthly uh, bars, so it's not going to include yet all the information on this uh, website. If we look at the weekly chart, and I guess this has pop-ups, and it looks like this whole thing just becomes a mess. But on a weekly chart, you can see that, in fact, that's about where we are, $610 an ounce in the uh, physical commodity. So going back to the charts that I typically like to look at, you can see that Friday was a tough day for gold. Gold lost a, a, a good portion. Um, it dropped from about $620 an ounce to $610 an ounce. And looks like it did a little bit of technical damage. We've got the 10-day moving average crossing down through the 20-day moving average. But the good news is it's right at the intersection of the 50 and the 200-day moving averages. Now, a lot of times people call that the golden cross, meaning that's a good buy signal. So maybe from a contrarian standpoint, it would be a good purchase here. However, I'm concerned that it looks like it's breaking down in here. I think that as a short-term trade, you'd need to see it get back above $62 uh, an ounce or $620 an ounce before you could really consider it worth a purchase. So basically, the way I see gold right now is it's neutral. You, a lot of people either love or hate gold. Personally, I don't understand it, but uh, it can be a good trading vehicle at times. Now doesn't look like one of those times, though.